around the woke folk might object that white people have melanin too. This is true. This is true. White people are not white skinned because they lack melanin. White people are white because they have an overabundance of a very different kind of melanin than what you and I have in abundance. Slide, please. See? You have an abundance of the light, friendly, black or brown melanin called you melanin, which has all of the properties that we have been discussing. White people, on the other hand, they have a higher ratio of light, unfriendly, theomelanin, which is red and yellow. You melanin black and brown, theomelanin red. Black people, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you melanin, black, brown melanin. Black people have an abundance of you melanin. This is the melanin that has all of the qualities we just discussed. Feel melanin is red and yellow. It's very different from you melanin. White people have a higher ratio of you melanin. You follow? Now what's important, the beginning of the process of melanin is the same for the two melanins. The process starts the same way for the black and the red melanin. The, the difference occurs when sulfur hijacks this process. When sulfur hijacks the process. It takes the process in a very different direction. Instead of producing the anti-cancer black eumelanin, it ends up producing the cancer-causing red melanin. Do you follow? Now, sulfur, which distinguishes black folks' eumelanin from white folks' theomelanin, sulfur is called the devil's perfume because it's a foul-smelling gas responsible for the stench of rotten eggs and, well, Flatulence? Is that what it's called? I don't want to say the other word. Gas from your backside? Sulfur is responsible for that horrible stench. Sulfur has been associated with Satan since ancient times. In Satan's lair, according to the book of Revelations, is a lake of bar burning sulfur. You remember when the late Venezuelan president, Hugo, uh, Hugo Chavez, speaking at the United Nations after George Bush spoke, and he said of George Bush, the devil came here yesterday, it still smells of sulfur. You remember that? Ayer vino el diablo aquí. Ayer estuvo el diablo aquí. En este mismo lugar huele a azufre. Well, what are you saying, brother Wesley? Well, let me say what I'm saying. I'm saying that once you have answered properly question number one, who is God? Then the answer to question number two, who is the devil, is automatic. Slide, please.
You see that red field melanin? When the white man depicts the devil as a red man, he is telling you and me some truth about himself. And so the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us about the red devil. He says, but here is a red devil that is produced as the red clay it is the poor part of the black earth. The white race is the poor part of the black nation because the red field melanin is the poor part of the black you melanin. And this is why white people look the way they look and why white people smell the way they smell. I'm sorry. Is that sulfur? And so God told us in our lessons that the Caucasian is Yakub's grafted devil, the skunk of the planet Earth. Don't get mad at me. Bring that up with God. 